Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. I was looking for inspiration for jewelry design. Find this beautiful phonograph horn uh, to be applied into the jewelry design. So I built this uh, experiment here and would like to share with you how I make it for today's tutorial. Are you ready? Let's get started. So before we starting this uh, building this shape, I would like to talk about the basic concept of this one. This shape does come with, into two parts: the part in the red, and, and also the part in the uh, the black color. However, the beauty thing is, so where the transition in between this and coming out become the flower, they need to be seamless. So then that will look beautiful as a whole one piece. So let me hide in everything and we're going to starting from scratch. You may want to find a reference um, to, to trace over. So I'm going to use the picture command and you can find any of the shape that you like. And I'm going to bring one here. And this is not for printing, so I'm not um, going to model in the real size, just whatever size that fit my screen. And I'm going to lock this one. So what we like to do is trace over this basic shape. I'm going to come in over here, try to trace as close as possible. Uh, if this is your design, you wanted to get it as close as possible. So this is what we are going to do. Try to get something like this. And in this case, this is a picture that I found online. So it's actually in the perspective. Uh, for me, I will also need to do a lot of adjustment because that in the perspective, uh, it's not really the top front side view, but I just want to use it as a reference. So I'm going to trace them something like this, a little bit longer like that. All right, and then I can kind of uh, moving back to the point if I want to, but since this is in the perspective, I'm going to stop the tracing right there and hide the image there. Okay, so now we are looking at this. I want to make sure there's no kinky there, like this feel a little bit kink there, this this too. All right, so one thing that you can do, this is a command it's called smooth, and then you can smooth it by you know, moving this bar here and it will, it will smooth it out for you. And uh, we're going to do the same thing right here. It will smooth it out for us as well. And before we actually making into the surface, I always like to make sure that the curve is correct. For example, one thing is important. I do want those two points. It's on the same level. So I'm going to use the gumball, pick up those two points and just type it zero there. So now they are in the same level. Okay. I also like them to be the same point. So I'm going to rebuild those two curve and try to making the curve by rebuild them so they will be like even surface and and when you sweep that will look better and then so i want to do 24 make sure degree is three and click ok so that will be our curve let's give it a try let's go ahead to use the circle and with a diameter and we want to click on the vertical because we now on the right view and make sure that your endpoint is on on the old snap and we want to click here and here. All right, so let's take a look on the perspective to see what we have. Basically, we have the rail one, rail two, and the cross section is completely round. So let's go ahead to use the sweep to rail and it's gonna get rail one, rail two, and cross section. All right, so then we get this beautiful, beautiful shape. Now. If you look at the right view and you kind of see it is not, it's kind of tilted on your contour line, you can do by add slash and to adjust them. For, for example, we're going to move it from here to here. So they will look much better. And right here, they might need to look like this. Right here, they want it to be look like this. So then your sweep uh, profile will look nicer. So for example, this one, maybe adding one more here. All right. So now I have this profile here and let's click OK. All right. So now, as you can see, if you look at the perspective, you see the whole things there. All right. But we do want to have more flower things on the top. So I'm going to select everybody and just 
kind of uh, changing the angle to whatever it's supposed to be, something like that. I should have to start drawing from this angle, but that's okay. We can just rotate it. All right, so now we have this something like this, and we need to see where we want them to be stop, and then coming out a small flower petal things. So I'm going to draw a straight line somewhere right here. And with this straight line, it's going to project to this surface. All right, so that line over here, I'm going to turn it into the red color is easier for you to see and I'm with this line also I'm going to have this guy to be split by this line so now let me did it this one then we will have two half right so we just need to rebuild the one on the left depends on how many petal that you're going to have uh, for this demonstration I'm going to divide it this big circle right there into 12 point okay so that means i'm going to have a 12 petal there and then how do we get the curve on the surface it's we coming into the curve you have the curve from the object and then you have extract iso curve and so you can pick up this surface right now the direction is not correct so coming into the top you can toggle it so now we are in the same the right direction so what I wanted to do is follow the point that we had, and then we want to click on the point to get this curve on the surface. So coming over here, 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 and make sure you click on every single point. So we should have a 12, see I'm missing one here. Now we have those curve, and we need to have this one to be split into 12 sections as well. So this one, it's going to be split by those curves. So now they become smaller section there. Okay, we no longer need this guy right here and that's just deleted. it. All right, so now that's decided how much bump it's going to end up with. So I'm going to come into the front view. I'm simply going to draw an arc. And this arc is going to look something like this. All right, so I kind of eyeball it like how much bump that this one going to be. So that's coming into the front view. And I'm going to use the commands called orient to point. So what we're going to do is we're going to orient this guy to this place, but they are not the same distance between here, 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 and here, right? So we are going to making a copy and we do want a 3D scale and let's do the reference one and two. Now target one and two and target one and two, and we're going to keep targeting those curve to those point and once you are done just right click on it and then we'll get something like this beautiful so those are the lines for us to creating the surface let me did it this one and we are going to use the sweep to rail. You got rail one, rail two, and make sure you're starting from here and then end it with this one. So then you will have a beautiful transition going from here, seamless, and then to this flower uh, dummy shape. So let me do one more time for you. Rail one, rail two, cross section one, cross section two and we'll get this one all right so i'm going to fast forward from here for those surface
right, so now we get this basic form. You can continue your design. Now, the question is, how are you going to make it into solid? And depends on how big this one is. Are you going to solid all the way inside, uh, all the way to the bottom, or you're gonna keep this one uh, solid and this one just more like a, a thin sheet? So I'm going to hide in all the curve first and then just dealing with this one. We can do, let's say we wanted to have, this is a thin sheet, and so I can simply just go ahead to join them, and then um, we can offset this guy. So let's do a offset, and I wanna offset something really thin, like 0.4 millimeter, and I wanna offset inside. Um, if you offset inside, you're going to see something like this. So once you offset, you're going to see this little triangle right there. And that's because you offset the distance from this point out, at this point in, inward. So when you have this point inward and then you create two points, and of course you got an open window there. It's an easy fix. You can just use the cap command and then that will fix that problem. And then the bottom right here, you could simply to cap it too, if this is really small, there's no need to uh, making a hollow foam because you're going to have a hard time to cast, you know, somewhere to flow into this cavity there. All right, so that will be our demonstration today. There are a lot more trick and tip for jewelry design on my membership programs. So check out the membership. You're going to see a lot of my secret over there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next.